Good morning, everybody. It's Terry, aka Dreaded Farmer, giving you today's fitness tips. Um, we did a simple circuit today where we did three rounds of three exercises, and each set or each station lasted for two and a half minutes. So basically, the first station was the ladder, where we were doing some quick footwork, working on our defensive back skills. We want to be able to cover people and get through and work hard, pitter patter, gotta have quick feet in this world. So that was a quick and easy pitter patter. We did a bunch of those things. And then the second station was over here. This is for our core. We're working, working our lower half, fluttering, keeping our abs tight, core strong. We're doing as many of these as we can, two and a half minutes, either up and down or in and out. Keeping the abs tight, fighting through. And then the last one kind of reminded me of my old uh, aerobics days. Uh, most men, when we're doing bicep curls, we do about 8 to 12 reps and then we stop. So we have zero endurance. Women in aerobics classes like to do bicep curls for a whole song. So we kind of took that process today to heart and we did uh, bicep curls for two and a half minutes. So simple curls, or alternating, or hammers, but we just kept moving for the two and a half minutes, and boy did that burn. And then we finished it off with a, uh, a run up the street with the dogs for about a mile and a half. So one thing I wanted to encourage you on today is a thought that the Holy Spirit gave me, is that my love for Jesus is only as good as the love that I have for the least of people out there. So. The love that I have for my enemy is as much as the love I have for Jesus in his eyes. So he wants us to love everybody the same, even our enemies. So whoever we treat the least, we're also doing the same thing to Jesus. So that was hugely um, convicting in my heart that I need to love people more. So I'm going to focus on loving even the ones that I don't care about as much or people that I don't like. And I'm going to learn to love them more and like them more and, uh, and be able to shine the light of Christ on them. So I encourage you to do the same. Love on those that annoy you, that get on your nerves. Love on those that you don't like as much or maybe you don't get along with um, because Jesus is watching and he wants you to love them the way you love him. So live it, love it, and share it. Shalom.